I want to graph one cycle of y equals 3 cosecant of 2x minus pi. And I'm also going to need to determine the period, the asymptotes, and the range. So how are we going to go about doing this? Well, remember, you can start with your base function, which in the case of this one is y equals the cosecant of x. So what does that look like? Well, we've already graphed that a number of times. If this is your first video with us, then you have not graphed this a number of times. So what I want you to do first is actually graph this function, come back, and then check your work. So when you graphed cosecant of x, it should resemble what I have here. You may have more points, you may have less, but remember this is what it looks like. So that's great, and I can actually look at everything, but I need to get this in standard form in, inter in order to remember what a, b, c, and d are and how they're going to help me. So if you recall, the formula is y equals a cosecant bracket b times x minus c plus d. So that's going to be our standard form. So what we need to find is what are all those and how we can we use that. Well, the first thing I have to do is I'm actually going to need to get the formula that they gave me to look like the one with all the A's, B's, C's, and D's. So let's do that first. So that's going to give me Y equals, remember everything in front of the brackets always stays the same. So I've got 3 cosecant. Now, I need to get a B, so I need to get X all by itself. So I'm going to have to factor out a 2, and that's going to give me X minus. Now, I want to end up with just pi. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to get pi over 2, because I'm multiplying that by 2. And then I don't have a d, but I'm going to go ahead and write plus 0 just for that placeholder. So what all does this tell me? Well, I can find a. That's my amplitude. That's a 3. I know b. It's 2. Now remember, we're going to use that to find the period. So the period equals 2 pi over b. Well, I've got 2 pi over 2, so that's telling me that my period is pi, so that would run from 0 to pi. Okay, what else does it tell me? Well, I know that what c is, remember it says c is pi over 2. d, we don't have anything, so I'm going to go ahead and write that down. Now, where in the world is the asymptote? So remember the asymptotes for cosecant are found at x equals k, and then whatever your c value is, which is pi over 2. And then we also need to find the range. And as we may recall, the range goes from negative infinity to, now this time it's down below, so it's going to be at negative 3, or it's going to go from 3 to infinity. Now remember, this one's different because there's nothing up here in the middle. So now what I need to do is I need to actually graph this. And I'm going to do a rough sketch for you. Make sure yours is pretty that your instructor would like. So I'm going to have a vertical asymptote at pi over 2. And I'm also going to have one at pi. We notice that we have a a is 3. So we're going to have to go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So here in the middle, it's going to come right there to 3. And then down here, it's going to be at 3, and it's going to squeeze it in there because I didn't draw it very well. And so this is going to be what your graph looks like.